like, and subscribe. And let's get straight to it. Sean Combs is a fool. He is a fool. They set him up to take advantage of his people, and he failed for it. Now, and they knew that they could take him down anytime they wanted to. Evil giveth and evil taketh away. So now they have, they knew, they've always known what he was doing. They've always known it because the evil behind the evil that he was doing knew everything that he was doing. And he was filming it and doing there and doing his master's work for profit. And you know the interesting thing about it? Now, he was belittling his people, and now, now they have him in jail, and they're belittling him and making money off of it. All kind of white content creators are getting rich off of this. This is the hottest topic out there right now. When we should be paying attention to the gains being made in Africa, we're looking at this Sean Combs thing. And this is just another way of putting us down. Just another way of putting us down. They played him. They made him and they played him. They can take him down. They can take Oprah down. They can take uh, Jay-Z down, Beyonce down. They made him anyway. Would Satan make, make it? Satan can take it away. It's just as simple as that. But I want you to understand this. I'm going to read you Revelations 2, verses 9 and 10, to make, my, to make my point. Or shall I say, to give you receipts. You know, I don't know what all this Bible study is about. When all you have to do is go home and read the Bible yourself. And if you don't know a word, look it up in the dictionary. But anyway, here we go. Verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty. This is God knows what we're going through. God knows what we're going through. But thou art rich. So he's trying to tell us, I know what you're going through, but just hang in there. And I know the blasphemy of them which would say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And blasphemy means the lies. It means the uh, setting us up to do evil. It means um, destroying our towns and cities. God is aware of these things. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. The devil will cast some of you into prison. Sean Combs is going to prison. But God knows his trials and tribulations and how he was set up. Cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. He's going to, she's going to be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, but be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And what he means is that be faithful to God, pray for forgiveness, and you will not lose your soul. You will not lose your soul. You see, God is no fool. God wants the evil behind the evil. He understands that this man has been set. And I'm a, let me get this, understand this. All the problems that black people suffer it's caused by Caucasians. It's caused by Caucasians. Not just the rich ones, but the middle class and the poor ones too. They are the cause of our problems. Understand this. When we fought to free ourselves from slavery, they expected us to suffer. But we didn't. We built our own cities and towns. We built cities and towns that were superior to them. And what was beginning to happen was that they were going to be, their, 
the parents of slave owners, their children were going to be asking black people for jobs. Their children were going to be asking black people for jobs because we control the economy. They bombed our cities and banks in the 1920s. And then what happened in the 1930s? The Depression. And the Depression was caused by the destruction of black banks. And we had over 100 black banks. And when you destroy them, you, of course, de destroy the economy. But understand this. God knows our trials and tribulations and what we've gone through. And like G Jesus has always taught, fear the second death. And the second death is the loss of your soul. That is the second death. The first death was Jesus when he died on the cross. But he said, I will come back and you will not know me. re in nation. That is African spirituality. I see Sean Combs, he's in jail. He's praying now. He's praying to God, asking for forgiveness. And he's going to be forgiven. But the thing I want you all to understand, all you other puppets, all you other puppets, what Sean Combs got, you're going to get to. And you're going to be put in the same position. And then they're going to be, and white content creators and the white media, they're going to be on television talking about you, putting you down while the evil that pushes you to, to do evil isn't going to suffer at all. They're going to be arresting you. I don't know who was the evil behind Sean Cohn, but they say it was Clive Davis. I don't know, but they said it was him. But see, the word is that Sean Cohn filed a racism case against one of the alcohol distributors who weren't selling his product because they were trying to hold him back. He was getting too big. So they're going after the blacks that make that make money. They're going after them. Satan giveth and Satan taketh away. You know, my cup runneth over with information. And I could go on and on and on. But I'm going to stop here. And I want all of you, especially those who sell out, I want you to understand that you are when you sell your people out, you are selling yourself out. When you sell your people out, you are selling yourself out, and you will more than likely end up like Sean Combs. White supremacy means white supremacy. White people are aware of what they are doing to black people. The rich ones know what they're doing. The middle class know what they're doing, and the poor one knows what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. The middle class, you try to go to, try to join the carpenters union, plumbers union, electric union. They're going to try to keep you out. Try to move into their neighborhoods, they're going to try to kick you out. And the poor ones, they just, they're just totally brainwashed. But I'm going to end here and throw something at you real quick. That's a little off track. I'm not voting at all. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you why, because it doesn't matter who I vote for, whether I vote Democrat or Republican, I'm going to get screwed. Now, if the Democrats win, then white folks, th that's going to help white Americans if the Democrats win. If the Republican wins, wins, Everybody lose. See, the thing I like about the Republicans is that they screw over everybody. The Republicans will screw over everybody. The Democrats try not to screw over middle class and um, poor whites. But us, they don't care. Kamala Harris, 
she eventually she's gonna get screwed over. Who knows? Who knows what kind of weird sex things she might be involved in anyway. Not saying she is, but <sighs> could be. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. Anyway, getting off the subject. Like, subscribe, talk to you all later. Peace.